Except the rice in a church where a wedding has been Lives in a dream, waits at the window Wearing a face that she keeps in a jar by the door Who is it for all the lonely people? Where do they all come from? All the lonely people Where do they all belong? Father Mackenzie writing the words of a sermon that no one will hear. No one comes near, look at him working, darning his socks in the night when there's nobody there. What does he care, all the lonely people? Where do they all come from? All the lonely people, where do they all belong? Died in a church and is buried along with her name. Nobody came. Father Mackenzie wiping the dirt from his hands as he walks from the grave. No one was saved, all the lonely people. Where do they all come from? Thank you, welcome, and uh, welcome to everyone joining us on Facebook from all over the world. And that was Alan Smith. And wow, just, you know, I didn't realize all of you know the songs uh, of the Beatles, but I didn't realize it's such a demanding part for the violin. But thanks to Alex, uh, who arranged this uh, piece, and it's really wonderful. Anyways, um, we would like to continue. And by the way, I would like to thank uh, Excellence Concert Series for hosting this in the Galvin Center in Salt Lake City. And um, to continue, um, I would like to have, oh, before I introduce the next singer, I would like to uh, announce the next set of songs that we're going to perform. And um, to me, it's I think this is a very special program, not just because we're doing it, but it's very, very unique. You know, it's very diverse, very eclectic program. And uh, next set of songs, we'll start with, everybody knows St. Matthew Passion. And you know, many experts feel, what is the greatest work by the great Johannes Sebastian Bach? And many experts will say, St. Matthew Passion. And it, it's a work that not too many people have heard. It's his longest work. It's around three hours long. So very rarely you will hear it performed. So we cannot play the whole piece. So we don't have enough time. So we will play one aria. It's called Erbarme Dich Mein Gott. Who speaks German here? Uh, means it, It's actually very... Uh, a poignant work. It means, uh, have mercy on me, my God. Uh, and, uh, well, I won't go into the story behind it, but it's very deep work. And then we will follow, uh, we'll be followed by uh, Richard Strauss, Morgan, uh, which means tomorrow. It's a beautiful song. I think it's uh, 
uh, the, the text is, you're, you're, one is longing for tomorrow, the beauty of tomorrow. And then it will be followed by um, Michelle, uh, who sing a song called Amor by William Bolcom, which is very, very lighthearted. And Amor, as many of you know, means love. So I would like to introduce Michelle Dean.
he shouted, Amor, 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 Amor. Even the ice cream man, free ice creams by the score. Instead of shouting butter pecan, one look at me. He shouted, Amor. taking less the rich stopped needing more instead of shouting no and yes both looking at me shouted on Judgey came to the stand, took my hand, and whispered a more, a more, a more, a more. Night was turning into day. I walked alone away. Never. But as I passed the church house door, instead of singing amen, the choir was singing. Oh, more. Thank you again, all, uh, all of you, so much for having us. It's been a thrill sharing all this wonderful music. We've gone all the way from Bach to uh, John Lennon and Paul McCartney, and it's it's great being able to to dive into music that's so um, different, that has so many different styles and flavors to it. Um, the next two pieces are by two composers that we would have to include if we're talking about some of the greatest music written over the past few centuries, uh, Sergei Rachmaninoff and Ennio Morricone. Uh, now, Sergei Rachmaninoff is a familiar name. We know him, uh, a composer around the turn of the 20th century, of course, hugely influential, not only in the school of Russian music, but in terms of how we understand and appreciate classical music. He's known incredibly well for his works for orchestra, as well as his works for solo piano, uh, piano and orchestra, chamber music, uh, and of course, vocal song. Um, uh, so we will be performing uh, the vocalese by Sergei Rachmaninoff. After that, um, we will listen to Say, uh, a song from the, the film Cinema Paradiso. Now, Ennio Morricone is perhaps one of the um, most well-known film composers. He wrote scores for movies such as The Untouchables, Bugsy. Um, of course, he won his only competitive Academy Award uh, for the score of The Hateful Eight. Um, of course, we all know the score of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and then this beautiful score of Cinema Paradiso. So we'll uh, be pleased to share with you these two uh, works. Um, but before we do so, we'd also like to thank our sponsors, because without them, uh, we as musicians and artists wouldn't be able to share this wonderful music with you. So we'd like to thank uh, Talitha Day and the Gallivan Center, Salt Lake City Redevelopment Agency, Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall, the Salt Lake City Council Zoo Arts and Parks, Taylor Audio Visual, Utah Division of Arts and Museums, Larry Miller Family Charities, uh, the George S. and Dolores Dory Eccles Foundation, Merritt Medical, 
Dane's music, of course, one of my favorites for this wonderful piano, um, the AARP, the R. Harold Burton Foundation, as well as uh, the Excellence and Jeff Whiteley and crew. Um, again, uh, just like Jeff mentioned before the concert, there are these uh, QR codes that you can scan if you'd like to donate to help um, bring more of this wonderful music to the world. So now we'll entreat you with uh, Sergei Rachmaninoff's vocalies and Say from Cinema Paradiso.
watch that movie here most people or some you know that's you know I'm a movie buff I, I grew up in um, LA and uh, I think we have enough time sorry I drift off a little bit I, I grew up with uh, a lot of Hollywood people and um, I went to uh, high school private school with a lot of celebrities and uh, so anyways Without going into too much detail, uh, let me see. Uh, Gary Coleman was there. I don't know if you know him, Gary Coleman. O.J. Simpson's uh, kids went there. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and, and so forth. It goes on and on. So anyways, I, I was always into movies. And you know, people say, oh, what is your favorite music? As a musician, you get asked that a lot. And, and some, sometimes people say, oh, what is your favorite movie? And I would have to say, Cinema Paradiso is one of my favorites. So if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It's so beautiful. OK, so to end our con well, first of all, I want to thank all of you for coming tonight. It's, I think it's, uh, we took a risk uh, on this program because it's kind of like a mixture of all different things.
But for me, I think music is music. It, it doesn't matter what type of music. It doesn't have to be only classical. You know, for me, everything that we play tonight, it's one of my favorites all time. And uh, so I, I thought, well, you know, there's no rules. It doesn't have to be a certain way. So I thought, wow, just let's try to put everything together. So, but we would like to end with our classical work, since Alex and I were classical musicians. And so the last work is a Sonata by Sansons. And I would like to say this is, uh, to me, uh, I think it's consider, consider uh, I think, a masterpiece by Sansons. Not many people consider that, but for me it is. And it's Sanson himself said, wow, you know, he was, by the way, uh, along with Mozart and Mendelssohn, one of the big prodigies. So in terms of sonatas, he wrote his first sonata when he was age, I believe, six, six or seven, yeah. But this sonata was later in his life, obviously, and, um, but, Hold on to your, uh, hold on to your seat, because I, I think it's a gorgeous work. And uh, by the way, Alex and I we will record this uh, next year, and so this is a preview for all of you. And the last movement, uh, I think Sansan put it. I forgot exactly what he said, but he said it is so difficult that it takes a, a legendary figure to go through the piece. And then he, he mentioned, ah, there's a creature. Ah, what is it, Hip, hippogr hippogriff? Did you know? Uh, hippo it's a half eagle and half horse. Do you know this? Have you heard that name, hippogriff? It's very, very fast, you know. But anyways, hold on to your seat. The last movement will blow, hopefully, blow you away. So here is our last work, Sun Sun Sonatas in D minor. Thank you. This falls off, somebody has to.
<laughs> I told you that was hard. 